All right, guys, so this is the Ford home integration system. This is for the F-150 Lightning. Um, and uh, we, uh, we just finished installing it. Um, we have to wait uh, for it to be activated by Sunrun, unfortunately. Um, but uh, let me go through the components here and show you kind of how it works. Oh, right. Canada. Oh, all right, put that thing down. That appears to be the transfer switch. Also appears to be upside down. It does appear to be upside down, doesn't it? Maybe that's, I don't know. I don't know. Looks like the transfer switch. Like transfer switch. Smells like a transfer switch. Must be a transfer switch. Are there some instructions that came with that? Yeah, underneath it. Oh, good. This is the WHB, whole home backup. A nice size transfer switch. Good. I'm pretty sure. I'm get a uh, just a stuff. Get a thingy to open that up. Yeah, it does. This is WHB 200, 200 amp transfer switch. Down here we got the dark start battery, so this keeps the system up and running uh, when the truck's not plugged in. Do you voice over? No, sometimes. All right, so this is inside the transfer switch. Grid side, load side. So it's got an auto transformer in it too. That's why it's got the heat sink on the back. Big old relays. Got CTs built in here. Cool. All right, and here's the inside of the inverter. I think we're gonna have to take that Sunrun label off. So basically this is, you can actually hook PV up to this, you hook up the EV positive and negative up here, battery positive and negative there. Um, that's if you're using a separate battery. Um, then we got 12 volt battery, um, we got comms to the EVSE, uh, 12 volt battery is the dark start battery I believe. Uh, we got a rapid shutdown initiator. And a uh, big old disconnect on the bottom. It shuts everything off. <laughs> All right, so this is the electric vehicle charging station. So this takes AC in and charges the truck, and then it also has DC out. So it's got a, uh, it's got a CCS uh, handle on it. Here, I'm pull that handle up, Griffin. So... That's, there's the CCS. So this is like what you would see at a fast charger. So it's got the two DC ports on the bottom there. Uh, and that taps into the DC on the truck and then it's got the AC charging up top. So that's what that is. You, this end's gonna go up here. Yeah, do you wanna take the handle? Not really. Well, I can't, I don't wanna hold the handle on the opposite side. <laughs> I need to hold the bottom <laughs> if I take that. <laughs> don't stick your face in that panel, Griffin. Thanks. Is that on? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Is it? Is that on? It could be. Looks like it might be. I think it might be. I'm, I'm not it might be. Are you ready to go? Let's I'm look. Gonna... Let's look. And then look and then holding it's holding it. I don't know. It's holding Looks on like the wall. Try to pull it off the wall. Try. Looks like it's on. How far down are we supposed to be from here? Yeah. Looks good. No, what, what, was, what was the thing with three decided? inches? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. There, you're doing great. Perfect, it's nice. great. Nice. I'll drop it. I don't know if you wanted to video that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's on there, right? No, it needs to go further. Right there. Yeah, I guess but that's it. Doesn't, it doesn't make the top look uh, like it's really on there. Marissa's calling me. Hold on. I don't have to put a screw in. Yay. Okay, so this box right here, this is the WHB, the whole home backup transfer switch. Um, this has also has an auto transformer built into it. I'll show you a couple, I'll put a picture up on the screen here of it on the inside. Um, and then this is the inverter. Um, it used to say Sunron on it and now it doesn't anymore. Uh, and so basically what this does, um, 
is uh, this uh, transfer switch senses the grid. If the grid goes down, uh, the inverter takes over and it actually takes the DC power uh, from the DC port on the truck um, and inverts it. And so this is up to a 9.6 kW inverter. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so it switches up over your whole house uh, up to 9.6 kW. The truck battery is 131 kilowatt hours. So it's a giant battery. Um, and uh, yeah, should, should run everything you need for, for quite a while. Uh, this little guy up here, this is called the dark start battery. So that basically, uh, keeps everything powered up when the truck's not plugged in, uh, and the grid's down. So you could, uh, you know, uh, you could basically, uh, go home without power, plug your truck in, the truck turns everything on immediately and, uh, and you're good to go. Um, and then... In here, we have a 100 amp breaker. This is for the charger, and I'll show you the charger in a minute here. So there we have the uh, Ford Pro charger, um, and that has a CCS charger on the end of it, or a CCS plug, so it can take the DC out of the truck to power the house, and AC in, and this is a 100 amp charger. He is gonna need a new transformer if uh, he decides to go with, 100, or with 80 amp charging, uh, because his utility transformer isn't big enough, so. At this point, we've set it down to uh, to about 48 amps, and that should be fine. Um, so yeah, overall, fairly easy to install, a little complicated uh, just because it was my first time with one of these. Uh, a lot of communication wires and a lot of little finicky things that you got to pay attention to. Um, but, uh, you know, decently easy install. One thing with this uh, with this system is you can't do AC coupling. Uh, you can run uh, DC solar directly into uh, the inverter there, um, but with the way our, our net meter net metering is structured here in Vermont, uh, you really do want to have a, a production meter to meter all your solar. So it kind of limits us to uh, AC coupled solar right now. Um, but uh, but you know you, you can hook solar directly up to this. So. Um, kind of a, a cool feature. It won't, I don't believe it will charge the truck off of the solar, um, but it will run your house on the solar at least. Um, so yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Um, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe and, uh, we'll catch you on the next one.